Hey guys, it's me, Tyler, from Turtles with Guns. And today, we're looking at AI, specifically the, the AI that is built into Bing. Uh, I think Bing is using, yeah, it was, it was chat GPT for Bing. And then they also built, or they also are using Dolly, well, uh, they're using Dolly to help generate images. And I've already, I've already been experimenting with this stuff a little bit on my own and I just want to do it more and now for the camera uh, so I, I've already tried asking it to, to create um, recipes and it doesn't really want to make its own recipe so let's say make me a recipe I've seen people do this with other chat bots I forgot how painful this is gonna be because of my awful typing make me a recipe or uh, let's say the best Ooh, I want fried chicken. Okay, so let's say fried chicken. It doesn't want to. It, does, it doesn't seem to want to like make up its own recipe. It'll be like, hey, I can recommend you some some recipes. See, it's gonna do it unless they updated it. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. See, it, it doesn't. It, it recommends me the recipes, but I've I've tried getting it to to give me make up my, make up its own, and it, it doesn't want. To. Even though it probably wouldn't be that difficult to. I think it's just trying to keep it from freaking out. Because there's there was some problems with it, having <laughs> having some existential crises. Oh yeah, that's something I have to show you guys. Okay, uh, so a while ago I asked it to draw itself, and they they blocked it for a little bit. It's like we're just making sure, um, we're just making sure that this is uh, fitting our our code. But this is what it drew when I asked basically Dolly to draw itself. I said myself. This was what it drew, which is pretty cool. Actually, I kind of want to try that again. Oh yeah, so it does this for a little bit. So I'll leave that going in the background and we'll come back to it. This is really advanced with the drawing. So let's let's see if it can get the mascot. By the way, uh, this new hat, new hats and, and all new merch, I got it designed by, um, by someone on on, uh, on Fiverr. Uh, links to their to their uh, page in, in the description because it, 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 it was really good. They designed all the Christmas uh, turtle, like the turtle for the Christmas merch, and the the main turtle, the one that you see on the channel logo. So that one, they're they're pretty cool. If, if you want to check them out, then please do. Uh, let's see if we can get Dolly to make something like the channel logo. So let's say, uh, draw me a turtle standing upright, and then let's just say holding guns in its hand all right and then it it takes a second just just a second let me check on this while it's doing that actually and then i think usually it tells me yeah here oh yeah this was from a while ago this is this is last night as well see again it drew th this is what it drew when i asked it to draw itself right. i guess that that's literally drawing itself all of them have some sort of art tool oh yeah i also did a couple of different prompts i was trying to get so i got a character a raccoon with a with a suit and knives to go right next to the um turtle oh look it did it it did it let me go back to the other thing there it is <laughs> this is a realistic one which is really cool look at that look at that that's hilarious and it's so detailed. Look at all that. It's got the like the grains. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Okay. Um. Ooh, actually though, it kind of like it kind of like morphed the. That doesn't. That this that looks painful. This is this is gun turtle, not turtles with guns. This is gun turtle because the the guns are literally attached to its feet. That's that looks painful, little guy. I'm sorry about that. Let me let me try. And then it it has uh, it can tell like reference based response. So let's say you can ask it with, without even having to reference this. You just be like, make it in the style of anime. Boom. <clears throat> then let it do its thing for a second. Let's check back on this. Um. Oh yeah, so what what I got for the raccoon one was this this 
and then I added a bunch of us. Uh, I added the city in the background and an explosion behind it. And I got this. And this is just so cool. This one's really cool. Look, this one has a third arm. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's also really cool. I can't remember what I did for prompts, for the, these prompts. I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, but it, it seems to have some trouble when I'm asking for animals standing next to each other because it gets them mixed up. They, it, it like it, it's like they they understand the ideas of the of, of like a turtle and a raccoon but they don't understand the rules between them so if i add them together then it literally mixes them so it does like it did this i asked it for a, a turtle standing upright or so i asked it for a turtle and a, a raccoon standing upright next to each other in the style of an anime and this is what it gave me it also gave me this though when i asked for like the raccoon in it that's actually a really i didn't even see that last night that's a really cool raccoon. I mean, it has a, a turtle shell on it, which is not correct, but <laughs> it's still really cool. Okay, let's go check on this. Let's see what it did. Is it doing it? Did it? Uh, that's weird. It lagged. Lagged out. Try it again. Make it in a style of an anime. Maybe it loaded over here. It really lagged. Maybe it looked. No, it hasn't. I think it's just taking a second because it's. My Wi Fi has been really bad. Hmm. I'm going to try closing some tabs. It, it's not doing it. I'll just go to the, the source itself. Oh yeah, see this is the prompt that I used. Draw a raccoon and a turtle standing upright next to each other in the style of an anime. The turtle is wearing a cool hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried to add a cool hat. Let's try this again. Draw me a turtle standing upright with guns in its in the style of anime. There we go. Look, he's got pants. Why does he have pants on? Dude, that that's really cool. Oh, look, it gave it. It gave like a, like a. a I don't even know what to call that. It's just like a description under the picture. You know, trees. Ayo, visceral. Die. That's wise words. Wise words from Dolly. Thank you. That's that's really cool. Look at that. All the character in that. He's got. Well, he's not really holding those right. Like it's weird, but it's cool. It's getting it's getting close. Like this. Look at this. Look at that. It's got like the whole. Oh, when it loads. It's got like the. He's got the stance. Look at the stance. And you, look, they they gave him the flippers because turtles are the aquatic ones. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. This this is funny. I don't know why I gave him pants. I'm I'm digging it. That's a nice pair of pants, dude. Okay, now let's try something else. Okay, uh, Squirrel standing upright with guns in its hands with a cool hat on its head. Yeah, okay, let's try that. Oh, did it do it? It did it. Yeah, see? Look at that. They're all bucket hats, I've noticed. Well, these two are bucket hats. That's, that's also a bucket hat. Oh, wait, no. That's like a mix of... That's really weird. That's that's like a mix of a bucket hat and a, a regular hat. Because you can see that it, it's trying to make the brim right here. It's trying to make the brim of a, a regular hat. Like a, like one of these. Or like a flat bill cap. And it, it has the little bump in the middle. It, it, it looks like this is where sunglasses... It was like trying to make sunglasses or something. Or maybe that's a logo. Look at his face! He looks so angry. And then, and then the arms. That's really cool. It's so funny. That is really good, actually. I didn't look at that. That, I mean, it has some trouble with hands, I've noticed. Holding, like, that looks like human hands. But that is, that's genuinely a good, that's a good, I would use that. In fact, I'm going to download that. That's mine now. I've claimed this. Okay, my goal at some point in this video is to make something that I'm going to put on merch. And then you guys can buy it. Draw me a. Let's put logo. Logo. Of. Let's try that. See what it does with that. What it thinks logo should be. Okay. And then I've also run out of the little boost things. So it's going to take a little longer, probably. Hey. I mean, it, it kind of did. Look at that. Look at that. It kind of did a, 
a mask like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it gave it gave it like nunchucks like like Donnie would have, or Mikey, not Donnie. Like, it looks like if if those were nunchucks, that would be Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because it's, it's even got like a slightly orange tint to the um what's it, the the bandana, the mask. I'll just call it the mask. Just assuming that's what. It, I mean, I would use that one, but that's very, very close. It's a, that's eerily close. He's got a collar. Look at that. He's got like a, like a collar. It's, look at. He's so dapper. He's so da look at that. It's like a fedora. It's almost a fedora. It, it barely. It's barely not a fedora. I would say, but it's almost like that. Looks like how he would be holding nunchucks, not guns. That's that's really cool. Uh, okay, what's next? What should we do next? Let's do instead of a style of an anime, of a Van Go. Oh yeah, it's a thirty second wait. Okay, yeah. See, I ran out of the the, the little boosts. Uh. <laughs> that I mean that I would say is close. That not as much. Maybe this one. I would actually say is usable. I mean, that one's really good as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I just got an idea. Um, Van Gogh. How do you spell his name? Seriously. Van Gogh. Style. No. Style. Of. What's that? Mean? Thanks. Whoa, look at that. It's like. That's really cool. It's got the. It's definitely got the Banksy vibe. I'll tell you that. Uh, okay, what else do we draw in the style of Banksy? I think Banksy is the way to go. I think it definitely took Van Gogh and was like. I think that one, the top right, is the closest, just because of the art, the art aspect of it. The other two or the other three are not as much. But it definitely. It's weird that it took very. It all took like fields. It, it made. It put the character all in fields. This one I think might be a sunflowers, a sunflower field. This one might be as well, but that looks more like a dead grass field. Let's try little standing upright with guns in his hands in the style of Banksy Pete. That's pretty cool. Not as cool as I was hoping it would be, so. Yeah, see, look, myself did a similar girl. This is a lot, it's, it's pretty similar to this. It's like a general general consensus that this is what Dolly thinks myself is. Uh, I wonder I wonder what it sh like, so if we look up myself, what pictures is it showing? Because if it shows people that look like that it's just recreating that makes sense. Very least. Maybe from that. But it's, I, again, I'm not seeing a lot of. If it was taking from myself, then there would be like a lot, a lot of different. I don't know. Emma Watson. Uh, there would be a lot of pictures that look look like that, but there aren't. There aren't showing up. Anyways, back to it. Let's put more stuff in the style of Bang. I thought of D's nuts. I'm not gonna do it because it won't even let me. Be like, this is not. Why not? Let's do D's nuts. Let's see what it does. You know what? Let's just, let's just see what it does. It hasn't shut me down yet. So if it just a nuts, oh my god, it better not be. Yes, D's nuts. Look at that. I like that, but I also want to see it for a low. I'm saving that actually though. Well, I, I'll, it'll be over here. But that's that's funny. I'm glad it didn't just do a nutsack. I don't think that's that's valid for uh, community guidelines. <laughs> I've, I've I've I don't think that it would let me do that. It's, let's see, it did the same the same thing over here. Uh, well, that's really cool. It looks like a squirrel almost. Like it tried it. Like this is the squirrel's tail. 
I can't even really tell what that is. All at all. Oh, what the? That is, that is not, that is a naked dude, basically. Uh, switch that out. Try that again. I'm going to have to blur that because that is too, that's too ambiguous. Like almost just a naked dude. It's a bit of similar, like someone kneeling down. Let's say, let's say Van Gogh again. In the style of a Van Gogh painting. Oh, what the? That's, yeah, that is doable. That right there. Dzez. Dzez. Look at that. It's a Z connected to a Z. That's really cool. I like that. Dzez. I really like that, though. That's awesome. I might use, okay, I'm saving that. I'm saving that, okay? I might make this some merch for you guys to buy. Look at that. It's so detailed. It's got like, this looks like a, this looks like the picture for a nut farm, pretty much. What else? What other artists? I don't, say Michael N. No. Ooh, Bob Ross. Let's do Bob Ross. The style of a Bob Ross painting. A local from the Florida. Look at that. Look at what it did kept the brown tone that it had from the other one for like the nuts obviously but it did the bob ross fro the afro from bob <laughs> all right back to banksy let's see what banksy does with these nuts <laughs> i think banksy already was the this one. yeah i think banksy was this one so let's see if it will continue doing the des yeah, see, it did the. That is, it is, is it's picking a style, which is this, this outlining form, the way that it outlines subjects with this like thick black line. In the style of, let's do anime. anime. Let's see what it does with these nuts. Now. It's got the. Oh, I didn't even notice that it has like what is supposed to be nuts in the background. Though. It's so weird. It's so weird. What the heck is it? That's really cool, actually, kinda. It has D's in it. It completed the full word. It, it actually I'm I'm happy that it did that now because the others were were not D's. They were just Dez's. Like Dez's and Dizz's. So let's try that again. One more time. See what it does. And then we'll move on to something else. I don't even know if it'll let me uh, use this on my merch. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's, that's, that's really freaking cool. Okay. Okay. This one is pretty cool. I will admit, downloading that. We're doing that. We're doing that one. It's, it's pick the style by putting D's, which isn't really D's, but the del, del, deal seven. Deal seven. It's like, like, like deal L and then a seven. But it's put in the face. There's like a like just an anime face over the over the big word. This one's cool. That's the circle. But uh, let's move on. Moving on from these nuts. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. So this one I did yesterday. Frog doing a backflip. Frog with a top hat on his head. All right. Let's see what it does with that. It's probably gonna. Oh, I forgot to ask what style I wanted it. In. Let's see it realistic, because a lot of the times it'll. I, I did this last night, and it like it didn't quite get the, the limbs to go correctly. It, oh, look at that! Oh, well, this is bad. This is cool. Let's do it. Oh no! Oh no! He lost his back leg, dude be on his head that's not his head this is his head. it seems to that's really cool though it this one got that it was supposed to be on his head this one it was it was doing the backflip which is good this one i'd say is more just like floating mid jump or mid fall this one it got sort of the backflip it was supposed to be like you know um but it didn't put the hat on its head. It tried to put it on the top where it thinks its head was going to be. 
That's interesting. This one was just all around wrong. It was doing the backflip, but it was also doing the, the frog on top of the hat. Top hat. That's probably, it might have confused it. It got top hat, and all of these are top hats, which is good. Um, it seems to be when I ask it for like a cool hat, it does, it does like a dad, or a dad cap or a, a flat bill. sits sideways. I'm guessing what shows up when you search cool hat. Okay, let's try this. I want to see what it does. I was going to try messing with the background, but I, I just want to see what it does without me messing with it. I want to see what it puts in there. And if it'll put another field. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They got the backflip really good here. That's funny. That one is fun right there. That's cool. Actually, I really like this one and that one. In the style of Banksy. Uh, this one's kind of like a weird balancing on one foot. This one is doing a head. It's got it on his foot. This one, he's holding it, which makes more sense because it would stay on his head. I like this one and this one. These are both really cool. You know what? That's, I'm going to download those two because at the end of this, hopefully, Teespring will let me make merch out of all of these. Uh, but the, at the end of this, I'm going to try and, and make merch. Look at that. Look at that detail. It's got all like the, the bubbles and warts. I mean, the, it made the top hat look green, but that's kind of like the color for the painting. Let's try animate the style of no. Let's try the style of uh, Van Gogh. Let's see what it does with Van Gogh's. So like what I, what I'm worried about is that I'll do all this and then I'll try and make merch out of it. Ooh, and then and then it just won't let me because because um, this is on the internet now and it's like hey you can't be taking pictures from the internet, Mister. And it was just made. I, and then how does the copyright on that work? Created with AI. Created with AI, not by AI. So like, will will I get copyrighted because the this is I don't own this. I didn't make this. The AI made this. This is art by the AI. So do I do I get the money from that, or is someone gonna is the algorithm be like, hey hey hey, you can't use that. I kind of really like this. One. This one's cool. Ah, this one's cool too. I like these three. This one is a little off. And it looks more like a toad as well. A frog. These, I, I like this one and this one. I might put these on the backs of some shirts or on a mug. Ooh, I've got so many ideas boiling around in my head, dude. I want to try and make it easier on myself because I want to be able to, I don't want to have to cut around. I, I know I'm probably going. No, no, that's pretty cool. He's got his arm falling off though. Ooh. He's got like a he's got like a bow tie on, on that one. That's cool. That one, his arms are like behind. Yeah. This one's the closest to the top, but he's kinda like turned around, like his head is the wrong way around. Because that's def that that is definitely his stomach. That's his inner legs. But Okay, all right, I'm going to call it quits with that for now. Uh, and then we're going to go to Teespring and, and make make some merchandise. Let's, okay, let's start with a mug. Ooh, look at that. It made, they got, they got windbreakers. Okay. New ideas. Ooh, and a puzzle. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I might, okay, let's do, let's start, just start simple with a mug. Let's do a mug. The mugs on here are kind of sad because when you ask it to do a color, it doesn't do the handle as well. And the way that it does, so like, here's the, I need, okay, well, if I ask it to do a color, if I ask it to do a color, let's say do bright green, it doesn't wrap it all the way around and even into the handle. The only places that it wraps is, um, doesn't wrap on the 
I'll just, this is one of my new mugs. This right here. This is what the uh, person on Fiverr gave me. This and this. But uh, when you ask Teespring to print like colors on it, like a full wrap of colors, it doesn't print like, under these. So like under the handle, it's still white. There's like a strip of white where the handle is and it just looks stupid. So all my mugs come in white and white only. Sorry, but uh, Teespring is taking that way. I only got four right now, so let's do it. Yellow. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> yellow might. Yellow might be a, the, the final one. That's it. That's yet. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. 25. 87 cents for one of these so far. That's nuts. I, I doubt, I highly doubt that it costs Teespring $25 to make one of these mugs. That is incredibly expensive. It probably costs them, I, I would say it probably costs them like at most, at tops, 15 bucks. And that's like high end. For this stuff, it probably more like 10 to make, you know? For, for sure. But they're charging a minimum of like $24.99 or whatever. And that's just, just so crazy. Okay, I'm going to pick some time. Camera turned off because I run out of space. Silly me. It's fine. We'll get back to it after. I'll go without a camera. I don't need it right now. It's fine. I just hope it saved. I just hope it saved that um, video because that would be really annoying if it didn't. It's a couple hours later. Probably like two or three hours later. I. The thing that happened where it deleted all of my work happened, I think, another two or three times. I figured out what possibly could be the problem. I think what was happening was when I went to upload more pictures, I was uploading too many at a time, and it just, the Wi Fi that I was using just couldn't take it. So I would upload an image. I would wait for it to download, or I would wait for it to finish uploading, then start uploading a new one, and then eventually it worked. So I went ahead and got ahead of it and also did the the D's Nuts merchandise just to save myself time. I didn't want to have to do it on here. So already, here it is on the, on the store. The frog-related merch. It's part of the amphibious listings. I got the jigsaw puzzle. I got the mug. It is like the dry nuts sticker. Yeah, there's a windbreaker. Flat, a long sleeve. All over print. I really liked the all over print. I saw it. Ooh, that looks good. I also got the uh, metal print. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Slides. Uh, we got a notebook, which I really like. Here's the the D's nuts stuff. I, I did a windbreaker, uh, mug, bucket hat, and uh, another sticker and hoodie. All in all, the art worked pretty well. I did all the outlining and the thing and behind the scenes after there's no point in getting it on camera. Let's just uh, stick to it anyway. Here it is. It works really well. One thing that I did notice when I was doing it, like outlining everything, a lot of the pictures had like a little bean logo in the bottom left hand corner. So I'm worried that it could be copyright. I will definitely let you guys know if it is later on because uh, I just used images made by Dolly. I didn't make them. I edited a, a couple of them to fit better in different ways, but the majority of these images I didn't make. So I'm wondering, will I, will I face any repercussions for using these? Uh, we'll find out. But right now, all of these designs are available in the description, and also I'll probably figure out a way to just upload these images so that you guys can use them as well because I really like them. Um, this is crazy. 
new stuff uh, with the AIs. It's pretty cool. So we can see. Actually, for the outro of this video, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the Chat GPT to write it just because I can. Boom. Or I may not. I, I guess I didn't specify what type of video. It was. I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay. And that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching me play the latest uh, horror game and scream like a baby. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.